Hi, my name is Scott Legere Horn, and this is The Short Call, my new series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little easier. If you ever have to play in the extreme upper register in a light and technical passage, try taking your slides out for the valves that you're not going to be using for the excerpt to make your horn weigh less and to make the instrument a little bit easier to play. With your slides out, you'll have a little bit more control over the instrument, but you may need to use different fingerings for notes like G and F sharp. This trick works great on double horns and even works on descant horns and triple horns as well. But when you're done, it's really, really important to put your slides back in the horn. If you found this video through a hashtag, please follow my page and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scott Legere Horn, where I can share you more tips and tricks about playing the French horn to make your life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Hi, my name is Scott Legere Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little easier. The smoothest slur between any two notes on the French horn is usually achieved when the least amount of tubing is added or subtracted to the instrument when changing notes. So, when slurring between A and G sharp and D and C sharp, use the third valve instead of the first and second valves together to create a smoother half-step slur. I use this trick all the time in sharp keys, especially in excerpts like the solo from Tchaikovsky 5 and Ravel's Pavan. If you found this video through a hashtag, please follow my page and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scott Legier Horn, where I can show you more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing. Hi, my name is Scott Legier Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little easier. Even though we're playing on modern instruments, there are many techniques we can borrow from the natural horn to expand our color range and improve our technique. One of my favorites to use is the echo horn, or three-quarter stop, which can help me make an incredibly pianissimo and transparent sound. <laughs> In order to use this technique effectively, you'll need to close your hand about three quarters of the way to full stopped horn and finger one half step above the note you're trying to play. However, it's incredibly important that you check your pitch with a tuner before the rehearsal because intonation can be really tricky with a technique like this. If you found this video through a hashtag, please follow my page and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scott Legere Horn, where I can show you more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Legere Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little bit easier. Today, I want to show you how you can use subdivision to improve not only your rhythm and your tempo, but also your musicality and your phrasing. Normally, subdivision is a mental exercise you use to divide up a large beat in order to stay in time. However, if you articulate those subdivisions while you're practicing, you can actually use them to help plan out a longer phrase and keep track of where you are in a crescendo or decrescendo. If you found this video through a hashtag, please follow my page and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scott Legere Horn, where I can show you more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing.